tell you guys about the session I had yesterday with Angelina. One of the coolest things about like cancellations getting filled is I feel like the people with the cancellations were holding the spot for the person that's supposed to have it kind of thing. Really like the can whenever I get someone who picks up a cancellation spot, I'm like, Oh, this is going to be a really good one. Like this was made for them. So I was really excited before we even got on the phone. I'm not going to go into the personal details of what I felt when I connected to them and how we cleared things out and felt it release and all of that. Cause there was some personal stuff in there. Um, but definitely interesting. There was lots of moments of me going, what the fuck, which happens sometimes. But like, I run into people that I'm like, I don't fucking know what this means. There was one part about the beginning of it that I want to tell you that's, that was killing me. I thought it was fucking hilarious. So give me just when, since I don't really see, I get, um, depictions like, like, uh, a movie scenario or a situation that is relatable kind of thing. And they kept giving me, I guess it was her guides, and they were, they kept giving me, I was like, I'm getting a scenario of, like, what this is, but I'll fucking know this reference. Like, it's from a cartoon or a TV show, and they're like, yeah, 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 you know this, you know this one. And I'm like, nah, dude, <laughs> like, nah, brah, I don't know this, I don't know this reference. And, I, and they're like, yes, you do, yes, you do. And it was like, they were giving a reference that Angelina would know. But I didn't know. And I'd be like, can you meet me in the middle somewhere, bro? Like, can you, like, give me something that both of us know? And the way I felt her back move, they were giving me a scenario again where I was like, I don't fucking know. And then finally it was like, oh, the futter whacking from Alice in Wonderland with the Mad Hatter. I'm cracking up in this session because, like, I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> like, they, they kept giving me, her guides kept giving me, I guess that's who they were, her guides. They were, like, giving me... All these references, I don't fucking know what the reference was, man. So anyway, Angelina wanted to go into her Akashic Records. They had been having trouble. Uh, she had been having trouble going into her Akashic Records. And I was like, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. So I was, you know, we did the house cleansing and all the stuff. And then I was like, take me into the Akashic, you know, please take, spirit, please take me to my personal library. And she was in it. Like, she was like, oh, I'm outside. And I was like, I'm in some fucking, like, charcoal like cave mining place like I don't I'm not in the library I'm in this like cave place then when she did her house cleanse to it that's when I saw her little pickaxe thing her scythe or whatever and I was like what the fuck and then it gave me the mine so she's knocking down these walls and I'm seeing these blocks like explode and it was like they gave me the scenario of the minecraft thing we could both understand that or what her tool I was like oh shit this tool's in your fucking toolbox bro and then I was like wait can we See what it does, if it's in the highest good, to all who need it, apply it to Columbia. And then we felt movement, but we didn't like tune in to see exactly what it did. And then we applied it to Israel, and we felt a different kind of movement. And then I was like, fuck it, let's apply it to Canada, because um, that's where Angelina is. And it felt like all this stuff move here and here, and I was like, oh shit. It doesn't just knock down walls and obstacles and shit like that it opens up pineal glands. And then I saw that it could go as little as you need for like, you know, dentists do the pick thing with the teeth and as big as you need for like knocking down fucking walls or getting through um, tunnels and shit. So that was pretty rad because we got to discover what was in her spiritual toolbox and apply it to the- I'm finally able to get into her library at this point. She had cleared the passageways with the cave mining thing. And when we get in there, we're both outside. Like that's what her library looks like. It's outside. But instead of books or, like, a digital, like, portal thing, what her said, it was, like, big, tall grass, and it was, like, parting of the seas, but with grass. And it was giving me a reference that I believe was from SpongeBob, but I didn't watch SpongeBob. And, it, like, whatever book she wanted, whatever life she wanted to see, it would part it, kind of like, um, I don't fucking know, like, like parting a hair part, like, that's what it would do. Also, in the um, the cave thing that I was stuck in before getting into her library, I kept hearing the song, um, what was it? I'm getting ripped tonight, R.I.P. that pussy, Hey! And I was like, what the f Okay, so back into the library, when it was parting of the, like, the passageways to get into the library, or into the life she needed, I started hearing the young gravy that's like, oops, baby, fuck up on your bitch, like, whoops-a-daisy. And I was like, 
these are some strange, I was like, this, these references are fucking, you're really excited about getting laid, and it's not your bitch, it's somebody else's. And we went in to look at the life, and we saw that they were a cave miner, they were going to hook up with their neighbor's girl, their neighbor was going out of town, we both like felt the, well, she saw, I felt the car leaving the driveway, and because they were so excited, like, I'll get in rip tonight, in the fucking cave, they were distracted, and they ended up having a coal mining, like, cave, like, collapse, and fucking them and everybody else died of carbon monoxide poisoning. So we went to the earliest point we could heal of that life, which was the neighbor leaving out of town, and they're, like, eating their cereal or whatever, and they're in their head going, I'll get in rip tonight, you know, like, they're doing their thing. Uh, their guy in this life, um, like in his 20s or so, handsome, handsome guy. So we do the house cleanse um, to him and to the neighbor if it's allowed and to all of them. And then we see them moving, the neighbor and the girl moving. And him, he's not as like corny <laughs> anymore. And he calms down. And then it's more romantic and a little bit more emo. And I started hearing the fucking song from like um, American Tale where it's like somewhere out there or like underneath the same big moon. That one, whatever the fuck. And I was like, oh, the romantics or whatever. Then we found out the neighbor's girl in her current life is her girlfriend. We were able to push all the energy through, um, heal everything. The neighbor now leaves so they don't like hook up and they no longer cause the catastrophic like cave collapsing thing that whole time is rewritten and then we were able to free the souls that were trapped in there from that disaster and it was um you know the carbon monoxide poisoning so we were able to heal all that and ripple everything forward and then i was like holy shit this is intense as we were rippling it forward and i realized before we went into the past life we had done the work for colombia and for israel and for canada it was like oh that's why it's so intense because we could feel like a huge push when you're rippling and like aligning the timelines and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was, I was cracking up that whole fucking session. I, I have a lot of sessions that I don't tell you guys about that you would probably love hearing. So if you're one of those people that I've had a session with and you want me to talk about it, just let me know and I'll. Okay. So I just got done working with Angelina and I want to pick up the camera and just go ahead and start to record this. Otherwise I won't be able to document it. Okay. So we started out with trying to clean off they had a lot of stuff that were put on them from family from friends from uh, business stuff well not business stuff school stuff but um just the release of getting undoing things done to them that were not in the highest good the relief of that alone was just huge and i don't want to go too much into it but when people trauma dump on you it's heavy as shit and it can pull you down and make you not want to like do human stuff. So getting that off was extremely big, but again, personal information. So I'm not going to go too into it. So we wanted to look at some past lives and I was like, Hey, we need to be very specific. Cause if we don't ask for a, a life that you need to heal, it will take us to some world event. It'll be like, Oh, they're on the phone together. Let's do this big thing. So we asked to see a life that the most impactful life that they needed to heal. And when we went in, it is not uncommon to go into the, like these weird pocket dimensions where you're like a character from a TV show or something. Sometimes that's the most impactful point you need to heal. Well, when we went in, it was like real tired, real like curled up like this. And then we applied everything we had just done to their human form to whatever this is. And it opened up to a triangle. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And it was from Gravity Falls. It was the triangle thing. And it was like Bill Scythe or whatever. Oh my God. Angelina, you have the, the death scythe as one of your healing tools. What? Let me double check. Oh, it's Bill Cipher. I'll calm down. It's not a big deal. So when, when we asked what we needed to heal about it, it was like an unlocking. So they unlocked it and it unlocked this portal thing. And then I went to look at what they were talking about because they were like, I think it's the triangle thing from Gravity Falls. So I went to look at it and I was like, this is connected to the Illuminati. 
And you can only merge with things that you're a soul fragment of. Like you cannot merge with things that you are not. I have like tons of information on how to do this all over my YouTube, all over my TikTok. So I can direct you towards it, but I'm not going to go into it at this time. So they merged with, of course, the Bill Cipher thing from Gravity Falls. And then I asked if they could merge with the Illuminati. And they could. Both of these things have been vilified as fuck. I'll go into, the, into it in the next part. I'll be right back. So working with Angelina, part two, they merged with the Illuminati. They were able to merge in. There's multiple soul fragments of an entity that, that, that big. Basic gist of it all after like cleaning it out, kicking things out that didn't belong. Very much connected to, if anybody's been with me for a while, they know that I have a fear cord matrix cord removal healing. Basically, as a three-dimensional thing to connect you to your divinity, like the um, programming to make you be human, um, it's like a fear, it's like a cord that goes from the back of your head down to plug you into the matrix. Well, this cord got um, infected like with trauma and also programming of fear of right and wrong and good and bad and all of that shit. Well, there was a port. Angelina's Illuminati triangle was the port. <sighs> that got corrupted and got vilified. So it used to be alternative thinking, um, like channeled messages through song, through music, through movies and all of that shit. You know how they say, like, they'll tell you it's always right there in front of your face, but it's slightly like coded in fear. That's what this is. So as all the like Hollywood and magician or magicians, ha, that's funny, musicians and stuff would like um, merge themselves, not merge themselves, but connect themselves or like contract themselves to the Illuminati. It became this organization and that's not what it intentionally was. So they kicked out, Angelina kicked out everybody that didn't belong, upped the contracts, rewrote the like structure of things and put everything back to balance, divine working order. It took a long time and it was a lot, of, every time, like you, if you could imagine how many times we went, holy fuck, that's so much shit when we felt everything leave. It was insane. Is Angelina the only part of the Illuminati? Absolutely not. But they were the part that would clean it off and kick everybody out of it that didn't belong. That's the, we all play roles of these things and that's their role. That's what they were. That's what they were drawn to do, or that's what we were guided to do. Okay. Hold on. I, my mouth is parched like a motherfucker. Hold on. So basically we undid all of the fear cords connected to that port and we felt shit leave fucking everywhere, everywhere. Um, so after cleaning that up and kicking everything out and removing all illusions, we removed all intrusive thoughts about the Illuminati that have been implanted in people's heads. We're undoing all of that. There shouldn't be fear about it. It should be its pure divine channeling like it always was. And also all the fear that was wrapped around all of the things and all the mirages should be removed. Okay. One more part. After we did all that, copy it and paste it throughout dimensions and space and all of that. This is part three, by the way of a three minute videos each. So like whatever. So after we did all of that, we, um, copied and pasted it everywhere throughout space and time, all dimensions, realms, realities, all that stuff. And then through all four quadrants, which I have more information on that somewhere else on my TikTok. <sighs> we asked what the next thing there was to heal. We were taken to the sky. Like we were both just kind of like laying there. And Angelina was like, are you in the sky? I was like, yeah. And I'm trying to figure out, does this mean we have to merge with your 24th dimensional form? Because I believe you already did that, if I'm not mistaken. But then like, what is this? Merging with all forms? Like, what is this? And it was like the mirages and the stuff in the sky. Like, when people say that the sky is a dome or whatever, it is, but it's like more complicated than that. Uh, to simplify it, it's kind of like we're in a dome but there's a dome above us and a dome below us. And it really, it doesn't go up and down. It goes around in a circle like this. And there's portals in the ocean and in the sun. We unlocked um, the portal for interdimensional physical travel on a mass scale uh, back in 2020. And we also clicked it into place. And then we like, um, Linda, Kate and I worked on, making it to where it's entrance and exit portals, like 
I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that. I don't know if I documented it because I used to document everything. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, hold on. So anyway, getting rid of the illusions, de de what Angelina and I did today, we defragged and deactivated and deprogrammed any mirages of what the reality is. Um, we don't want it to melt any minds or anything like that. So it's like with anything, and I was talking to Angelina about that, like over the last two years, we've healed a lot of shit. It's like people will talk about stuff all over TikTok, fear, fear, fear of this thing. Like talk, take the tsunamis, for instance. It was like, that's all anybody talked about, these tsunamis sitting in the East Coast. All of us individually healed all the things. The ocean people did, the volcano people did, the weather people did. Everybody did their part. And then all of a sudden, just people stopped talking about it. No big deal. They just stopped talking about it. That's how this is. So when we do something big like this, I don't know if it's going to show up right away or if it's going to come in layers because it can't melt minds. But I've got folders upon folders of documented work. So we'll see how it all ends up. But um, that was the gist of everything that happened today. Whew. I am starving now. I'm going to go. Okay.